What's up gamers, Dreamcast guy here, talking today about the Nintendo Switch Pro, because this is one of those things that we've just been seeing rumors and leaks about now for literally years. Ever since the Nintendo Switch came out, there's always been these rumors of what's coming next, when the next generation of Nintendo is going to come out. Now the Switch itself has been incredibly popular, of course they've done now the Switch Lite, both of these have sold tens of millions of units, but people are also kind of curious how they're going to do things after this. The Nintendo Switch is a very specific kind of console, so I think a lot of us are curious what exactly the Switch Pro could possibly be. Well these new leaks actually seem to confirm that it is going to possibly be much bigger and much better. Now before we look at this article, real quickly, for some reason my videos keep getting these comments saying that my mustache looks like two dogs trying to kiss. Stop. Stop putting that there. That's not what this looks like. Now people are freaking doing drawings of my mustache kissing dogs and freaking photoshopping dogs kissing on my face. Cut that out. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's actually take a look at these leaks. This is over on VideoGameChronicle.com, and as always, I am going to link this source down below in case you want to read it yourself, but here we go. A new Nintendo Switch model will launch next year, a new report claims. So here is the interesting thing. They're citing a bunch of manufacturing sources. So when we go into this article, the major thing that kind of strikes my attention is the fact that this isn't just some insiders talking. This isn't just some random speculation. A lot of this is actually based on the fact that warehouses are currently beginning to wind up production. They're getting ready to make a new switch. Taipei-based newspaper Economic Daily News claimed on Tuesday that the new Switch would enter production later this year and be launched quarter 1, 2021. Now, if you don't know anything about quarters and, like, fiscal years, this is basically going to be spring of next year. So, like, you know, eight months from now. And that's a pretty interesting window because typically game consoles launch in November or something, right? But Nintendo's been experimenting with these early year releases, that way they can try and really explode their sales going into summer and stuff. According to the publication, the new Switch model will feature upgraded interactivity and improved display quality. So, I guess that's pretty cool, because basically it sounds like it's going to have an extra good screen, which of course is fantastic, but also the way that they use the term improved display quality, it also makes me think, could we see better graphics? These various reports, they uh, cite, or the report cites various hardware manufacturers responsible for the Switch's flash storage, Joy-Con controllers, and more. Over the past year, several media reports have claimed that Nintendo has been planning a third Switch model in addition to the flagship console and the Switch Lite. I still think the Switch Lite is such an interesting machine because, honestly, something I love the most about the Switch Lite is how hardcore this bad boy is. It's really interesting that they decided to make like a tinier, very, very sturdy version of the Switch and then sell it for cheap. I'm kind of curious of the price tag of this before we even start getting into the idea of the system itself. Citing sources related from the supply chain, Taiwanese website DigiTimes reported in January that the new Switch hardware would enter mass production in the first quarter of this year and launch soon after. The Wall Street Journal also claimed in 2019 that Nintendo was planning a more powerful Nintendo Switch hardware revision with enhanced features targeted at avid gamers. Now this is actually a specific term I've seen it come up in multiple reports. This term right here, avid gamers. This is something that's really freaking fascinating to me because multiple people now have said that Nintendo Switch is glad that, uh, like, Nintendo is thrilled about the fact that the Switch is selling. Like, tens of millions of people are picking up the Switch. They're very, very glad that, like, people are playing it. But it seems like Nintendo has realized that they can lean even deeper into the gamer demographic. They can actually maximize more power, more games, more abilities, and actually sell it for maybe a higher price. I mean, maybe we could see a $400 Switch Pro that's able to do 4K, or maybe if it has bigger and crazier games that couldn't exist on a current Switch. 
in an April Nintendo Switch firmware update reportedly referenced a new unannounced hardware model. So basically, even within the code, things are starting to point towards this new Switch. According to an engineer, the console's 10.0 firmware update references NXABCD hardware model. The software already references code names for the launch model Switch Lite in the 29 update featuring improved battery life. Any existing hardware plans will likely have been significantly disrupted, of course, by the pandemic. Nintendo resumed shipping Nintendo Switch consoles in Japan in April after a brief hi hiatus, following a surge in demand for the hardware that has continued through the summer. Now, let's be honest, part of the reason this game is selling so hot is because Animal Crossing has taken over the planet. Animal Crossing is still a very hot commodity, especially in Japan. Uh, in three months, ending in June 30th, Nintendo Switch hardware has now cleared 5.5 million units sold for the quarter, which represents a year-on-year -year sales increase of 160%. Analysts suggest that Nintendo Switch may have a longer-than-expected life cycle, during which it surpasses Wii's total sales of 102 million. Now let's just pause for a second. This is where things get incredibly interesting is because they're talking about the fact that if the Nintendo Switch has an extra long life cycle, if this is supposed to be more than just your typical five year cycle, because back in the day, everything was exactly five years. You'd release like the NES in 1985, the Super Nintendo came out in 1990, the Nintendo 64, 1995. Everything was on this very, very strict schedule of games to keep you going keep selling the console, and then as soon as technology gets cheap enough, you release the next generation. So the fact that Nintendo is trying to toy with the idea of doing a longer generation the way this one has been, like obviously the PlayStation 4 has been out seven years, I think that this is a bold move. I'm very curious to see how it actually pans out. But the real curiosity I have is what's going to make the Switch Pro different from my current Nintendo Switches. There is some speculation about that specifically, these new upgraded features that will appear at the bottom of the article here, which is quoting from gamesindustry.biz. Now, this is actually Dr. Toto. I've heard this guy talking about the Switch Pro in the past, but he thinks that it's definitely real, it's definitely coming, and it will probably cost about $400. And for this upgraded cost, you're going to be getting possibly 4K support, bigger cartridge sizes, which has been a deal of like a lot of big open world games have not been able to super easily port over to the Switch simply because the cartridges themselves are kind of tiny. Now, there is some beefed up components as something else he speculates. I think the device will launch sometime in the summer holidays to counter the rollout of the PlayStation 5 and next-gen Xbox, along with first-party system seller. This is all very, very, very interesting to me, but I'll, I'll be honest, if I just want to throw this out here, I want to see it. I've been hearing so much now about a Nintendo Switch Pro for so long that I'm curious what this is going to be like. If I had to make my own real guess from the stuff I've managed to hear, from the stuff that's kind of come up, I do think that this is going to be like the new Nintendo 3DS. I think it is going to be a tiny touch-up. It is going to be better, it is going to be in the improvement, but it's not going to be a next generation. This is going to be a new take, it is going to be a new game system, but it's not going to be the beginning of something completely different. I don't think that there will even be too many specific games. I bet there probably won't be any like Switch Pro exclusives. Everything is still going to work on all your Switches just to make sure that they don't accidentally alienate any of the now huge Switch owners. What do you think, though? Have you had a chance to actually look at these leaks? Are you actually believing this? I, I really want to know y'all's thoughts in the comments down below because this is kind of... It's not cut and dry. There is a lot of information out there, but I guess we're going to know the truth very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. Let me just pet these good dogs. And I'm going to dramatically zoom in on my mustache dogs. Here we go, boys. Woof! Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last. Or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.